So I'm going to add to that repertoire. So I appreciate the ones who scan their project fully and printed them out fully. That's nice because we are going to make comments and marks. But I'm not grading you on, on the record, I'm not grading you on <laughs> the quality of your reproductions. I'm grading you on are you capturing your, your reproductions to the best of their quality, not the paper in which it's being presented on, not the, um, you know, how you tile them and put them together. But it will be, is it still copying? Is it reproducing? This is a good example of that poche might not be dark enough because it's not reproducing. And why is reproducing so important? Because never hand in your original. You give contract a copy, you give the planning official a copy, you give the electrician a copy, you give the architect a copy, you give a number of copies. So you want to be able to re-represent your project to the best of its ability by copying. Because you're not going to draw it five times or five different people. So that's why the exercise of reproducing this is absolutely relevant. So, we all know the scanner, we all use the scanner to take a large floor plan and scan it in pieces. Okay? So you scan one corner, print that corner, scan the other corner, print that corner, scan the other corner, print four corners, or however many corners you need to, to copy. There it is, eight and a half by 11, costs you nothing. Just like this. Okay? So I literally took that and scanned the top corner, bottom corner, and then each corner, and just print it out, eight and a half by 11. I get it in the computer, it looks like so we're reading PDF. Right here is your page thumbnails, and there it is. Right? So there's one corner, there's a corner, there's a corner, there's a corner. We can all do that, yeah. Does anyone not know how to scan a single corner and put four pages together to print out four pages of your project? It could be six pages, it could be ten pages, it could be however big your plan needs to be to scan it. The caveat is, you get what you pay for. It costs nothing. It takes a little bit of more work to scan it in versus, here, give it to somebody, have them scan it, and it comes out that way. Would you pay for that? Does that make sense to you guys? That's, that's how I printed this out. <coughs> Literally scan in four corners of the project and print them out each page. Flip side, let's say you do pay somebody to scan it, which the caveat is always, there's always a catch, right? Again, you get what you pay for. If you, if you spend the time to draft and, and really make this thing an amazing thing, you almost <coughs> want to get a professional quality to scan it in, get the PDF, and get the image the level and quality that you want your product to reproduce. But maybe not right now. Maybe midterm or finals is when you want to do that. When it's done, finished, and you really want to scan it in. So let's say you did, for this exercise, you did scan it in, and now it's one full page. It's um, 20 by 30, or 30 by 40, what have you. I can still print this large PDF at 20 by 30 into this. So it prints out to scale. Here's how you do it. So again, as you see, one page. Um, this icon right here is full screen. So you can do like half, you can do full. There's a bunch of other things you can do in terms of your view. So up here, there's view, zoom, there's actual size, there's fit width, and a couple other things you can do to, to show different pages. But here's my one page that says that size, 30 by 40. How do I print it out for no money on 8 half by 11 like that over there? You go to file, print. And we all know that this 8.5 by 11 piece of paper is not scale. It needs to be printed to scale, right? You need to print it to scale. So right here, instead of shrink printable area, you can choose tile, large pages. Let me um, pull that out so make sure the camera gets it. Right here, there is, instead of shrink to printable area, tile, large pages. And what will happen is, you'll see little dotted lines. You guys see that? Mm -hmm. That indicate it's 22 inches by 34, which is that size sheet, but print out on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper. 
that's how it will be sent to the printer, and I'll print them out that way. But you can control things like the overlap. So right here, how far, when it prints out, will there be an overlap so that you can match them up? So you can change that, multiply that however you'd like. The cap, you want to make sure 100%, right? So you're printing at 100%. That's, you definitely have to print it at 100%. If you use a 11 by 17 paper, then the paper that it prints out, there'll be less, right, that you need to print. But how I got, how did I get this one to reduce to here is, I went down to, I think, 80%. Oops, shit. I mean, shoot, sorry. <laughs> did I say that? It's late now. I recorded that, didn't I? Shoot. <laughs> so you can reduce the tile scale, which will make it a little bit smaller, so it will fit in all certain things. We're all grown-ups here, right? Yes. <laughs> things, are kind of, things slip. Um, but yeah, so that's where it is. But, but for 100%, so it's not uh, reduced scale, 100%, 100%, and then you can change the margins. Um, and of course, 11 by 17, you'll have less paper to print. The catch is this, though, right? You see there's a little print margin there. I'll say this for the record, and I'll say this on camera so that it's captured. If you're going to do this, I'm not going to, again, take your points and your grade down for tiling this. But what I will ask you is cut that line out so it matches up. So that when we are marking it, it's as good as it can be. So all I did was tape them together, little tape on the back so they're all matched up. But what I did do was take that out. I'll write this on here and say, take this line out if that's the route you're going to take. Otherwise, you're welcome to print out um, large copies for yourself as well. Question? What's the ideal overlap like? You can see there's, you know, you know, there's a little bit of N there that crosses over and T and the N, so you can kind of, you know, adjust that as you need. But do some you test have the pro oh, okay. yeah. And okay. see how much that overlaps. Because I mean, every drawing, depending on how, how detailed the drawing is, a small overlap would be okay, but if it's really detailed, maybe you need a bigger overlap so you can lay them together. Question. And you, you did that one at 80%, that, that smaller yeah, one, that's right? And that, is that going to be all right for us to no, do? No, so 100% for you. I just did it just so that I could okay. paper out and do it a whole bunch of them. But yes, for you folks, 100% no scaling. <coughs> Simple, huh? Yeah. 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 You're starting to feel my, um, that was seven minutes, really? Wow. <laughs>